Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian. Uh, just doing a quick update on the Mustang. So as you can see, she's in pretty good shape. She just got a real nice scrub down and uh, put some tire shine on it. And the weather's beautiful. I think it's like 73 degrees out. So nice temperature for boost for, for the most part. Uh, but yeah, so this week end, I actually installed new spark plugs on my EcoBoost. So apparently these 2.3, let's get some light in here. These 2.3 liter engines like to chow down on your spark plugs, especially as soon as you tune them. Uh, so these are the OEM ones. They're not in terrible shape, but regardless, I figured since I'm tuned, I would pop them out and put in the recommended NGK, uh, I believe 6, 5, 10, uh, 11 Iridium IX spark plugs. So these apparently run one step colder, which is helpful when you're tuned uh, because your ECU, even though you're tuned, the ECU will adjust to prevent engine knock. And even if you're tuned, it still adjusts just to protect itself. So what happens when you're tuned is if, from what I understand, if the ECU detects a weak spark, such as the spark that may come out of these guys, uh, it can pull timing, which will not allow you to get the full power out of the tune that you have. Uh, this is especially important. They recommend it if you have a pro tune, but also an off-the-shelf tune like the Cobb Stage 1 tune that I have. Uh, these can be beneficial uh, to not only making sure you get the most out of your tune, mosquito, the most out of your tune, but also to protect the engine from, you know, potentially going eco boom. I heard it keeps those eco boom fairies away. But uh, it was a pretty straightforward install. You just pop the engine cover off using just, you know, a basic socket set with some deep sockets. And of course, I purchased, I don't know if I have it in here. Yeah, I do. I purchased off of uh, Amazon a uh, socket, deep socket, uh, spark plug socket, whatever you want to call it, a spark plug socket. Uh, so that was very beneficial. This one's magnetic, opposed to the rubber ones, and it was perfect. It made the job really easy. Uh, I also had to purchase a 8 millimeter deep socket, which was kind of annoying. I got halfway into the project and realized the lowest I had was a 10 millimeter, so that kind of sucked. Uh, but other than that, um, you also, you need to gap the spark plugs. Um, I mean, you can buy them from, I think it's PD Tuning, uh, Purple Drink Tuning, and they have them pre-gapped, but I bought these off of Amazon because they were a pretty good deal. It was like $38 for four of them, and they don't come pre-gapped. So pre-gapping is basically the space between there and this guy here, and it's not going to, whatever. You get what I'm saying. So when I bought them, they were about 40, 0.40, I guess, millimeters apart and I needed it to be about they recommend for the EcoBoost anywhere from 0.26 up to 0.31 so I had to actually gap them down a little bit uh, so I didn't really use this except to really measure it I didn't actually use it to physically gap it I just used this tool to uh, measure it and apparently these aren't the best kinds to use because they can damage the iridium spark plugs so it's bad. There are some other options, and I'll probably buy one of those next time. Uh, I lucked out, and it didn't damage the spark plugs, at least not to my knowledge. Um, it basically ran a lot smoother, and it didn't, you know, misfire or anything. I didn't get a chink at engine light, so I'm assuming that implies that they were installed correctly and they weren't damaged. Uh, but basically, I'm going to show you what the uh, what to look for uh, as far as timing being pulled on the access port. So basically what you're looking for, now I'm relatively new to this so if I say anything incorrect just correct me in the comments, but basically what you're looking for is on my access port I have a bunch of gauges set up on here, I have the, you know the estimated horsepower, estimated torque, um, the high pressure fuel pump command, 
Uh, and then right here, this is what you're looking for. So you're looking for engine correction and the octane adjustment ratio. And actually not really the octane adjustment ratio, that's just to make sure like you're not running lean or rich. And you always want it to be at like, I, I, from what I understand, negative one per one is what you're looking for. But here, this is where you, from what I understand, you don't want to see it in the negatives. Now right now the engine's cold, I just started it up, so of course it's going to be at zero. But as soon as I start going, this usually will go up to like positive seven degrees or positive four. And from what I understand, you want it from positive four onward. Anything lower, or especially in the negatives, implies that the engine's pulling timing. And that's not what you want. So I actually didn't look at this until after I installed the plugs, but it's good to know that, you know, my engine's not pulling timing with the stage one tune, which means everything's running healthy for the most part, as far as we can tell. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the correlation between spark plugs and your engine pulling timing. Again, to my knowledge, I could be wrong. Uh, I may have missed something or maybe missed a point, and if I did, please feel free, free to correct me in the comments. I'm just starting to learn about this, but based on what I've gathered on EcoBoost forums and like groups I belong to on Facebook, that's the correlation between the timing and your spark plugs. So it's a good idea to upgrade your spark plugs. Um, you're not going to see any difference if you're stock, obviously. It's not going to like give you like mad horsepower or any horsepower at all, uh, but when you run a tune, it can help make sure you're squeezing the most out of that tune that you possibly can. So hopefully this was somewhat informative um, and I just wanted to give you an update because I haven't really posted videos and I'm trying to be more frequent about them. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later.